Former Vice President Dick Cheney defending the NSA's controversial surveillance programs. He was on Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace. Mr. Cheney says they have stopped terror attacks and they have saved lives. Mr. Obama seemed uh, singing a similar tune in defending the spy program, but Cheney says recent White House scandals make it hard for Americans to take the president as his, at his word. In terms of uh, credibility, I don't think he has credibility. I know one of the biggest problems we have is we've got an important point where the president of the United States ought to be able to stand up and say, this is a righteous program, it's a good program, it's saving American lives, and I support it. And uh, the problem is the guy has failed to be forthright and honest and credible on things like Benghazi and the IRS. So he's got no credibility. It was a uh, very fascinating interview to see Mr. Cheney out there in public yet again with Chris Wallace. And it's great to see you too, Jonah. Jonah Goldberg, editor at large <laughs> for National Review and a Fox News contributor. Check that, that middle part of what the vice, former vice president said. The president should be able to stand up and say, this is a righteous program. It is a good program. It is saving American lives. I think he has come close to saying that, but only on one occasion. And it, and it wasn't using the Oval Office or the East Room or the White House. It was out on, on the stump. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean, there, there's a strange dynamic at work here in that because of Obama's unpopularity on the right or among conservatives, um, people like Dick Cheney feel they have to come forward and support this program for among conservatives. There are a lot of conservatives and libertarians who are very distrustful about all of this, in part for the reasons that Dick Cheney laid out, which is the NS which is the IRS and Benghazi and their and Obamacare and all of that. And they just don't trust this president with that. I think Dick Cheney's absolutely right about that. But Dick Cheney also wants to keep this program going. They think it's a vital program. Barack Obama sort of has the reverse problem is that the, all of the controversies, not just the NSA, but all of them, with the exception maybe of Benghazi, hurt Obama with his base. And the more he defends these sorts of programs, more he defends basically the continuation of George W. Bush's policies, the harder he's going get, to get hit in the polls, which we're seeing this week. The new CNN poll has it at the lowest uh, popularity level in, in so, think, so two you, years. So you're arguing he cannot insert himself into this and explain it to the public? Well, no, no, I'm saying that, that I think that's his motivation. I mean, he is he's a remarkably absent president right now, as I think the Wall Street Journal editorial page calls him. You know, we saw... Who's uh, flying the he plane? Could, he, could, well, he, couldn't, he couldn't even get uh, come out and defend his own Syria policy. Uh, he had to have Ben Rhodes, his, you know, an aide, come out and do it. Now, well, and why, that, now why is that? You know, I mean, I, I, wouldn't you expect that from the president? To come out and say, would. this is what we're doing, and this is why we're doing it, and don't worry, you know, you're covered, trust us. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to sound like Charles Crowdhammer. Actually, I wouldn't mind sounding like Charles Crowdhammer. But, you know, Charles has been making this point for a couple of years now about how Bre President Obama, even though he ordered the surge, never once came out and defended his own foreign policy when it came to Afghanistan. And I think that part of it is all part of the same pattern is from the NSA on forward is that while Barack Obama, because reality requires him to, will do some of these things as a commander in chief, he absolutely has this sort of cultural and political bias against talking about it, against showing leadership, against defending these things, because he still wants to seem like this outsider who is a sharp break from George W. Bush rather than a continuation yeah, you of know, and, uh, uh, you, you might be right, but how in the world do you do that five years in? With, with three more years to go. I find it baffling. It's a, it's a remarkable lack of presidential leadership. He, it's almost like he wants to sustain his personal popularity above sort of actually doing the job as commander-in-chief. Oh, that popularity slipping, as you pointed out at the beginning. Thank you, Jonah. Jonah Goldberg to be here, man. in Washington. Nice to have you.